Yes, difference in experience has shown up. Eric Morales is in command of a big fight, the way he has been so many times in his career. Give it a talk. All right, deep breath, son. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Let him, let him breathe. Calm down, Will. All right, nice deep breath, son. All right, Manny. 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 Now here. You hey, cannot wait on this man, okay? The fight is to back him up. All right? You've got to back this guy up with the jab and go in combination, okay? The fight is turned more tactical, but the blood adds drama to it. All right, time in. All right, let's put the drama in context. First of all, Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, there's a couple of things I want to go over. 58. 56, four rounds to two, Eric Morales. Number one, in round five, you had a long delay while the doctor looked at that fight. The good judge will make a note of what happened early in the round so that he doesn't forget. And early in the round, there's no question that Pacquiao was winning. Okay, that's number one. Number two, under the rules of the association of boxing commissions, only the referee can stop the fight. Only the referee can make the decision whether it's a butt or a punch. If Joe Cortez didn't see that butt, it's a punch. If this fight gets stopped, Morales wins by TKO. Well, we don't have instant replay, but we should in a case like this. No, if, we, we have it as televisors. We don't have it in our sport. I have to fight even at three rounds apiece. Pacquiao's coming out a lot stronger this round than he had in the last pre in the previous two rounds, I mean. So he may have found something. Pacquiao may have determined that he's able to fight with his eye in that shape, and that rekindles some of his will. Gives him the energy that he's shown in the early part of the round here. He's definitely won the first half of this round. Now Morales starts to counter and momentarily wobbles Pacquiao oh, go, with go, go, an go, go, inside go, go. right hand. Oh, my gosh, they're trading some strong punches, too. All right, come on, come on. They are trading some very good punches. Right hand over the top by Morales. Right oh, hands oh, to the body. Oh, 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 right Pacquiao hand. lands a sizzling left. Pacquiao with a four-punch combination. Definitely has to kick a hand. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, get him out, get him out. Bring up, bring up, bring up, come on, bring up. Great body shot by Morales. Oh, yeah, that's what he needs to do the whole fight right there. Oh, he goes out, get him out, get him out, bring up, bring up. Let's go. Got one in just under the belt line. Cortez let him at him. Oh. Great right hand lead. Oh. Wobbles Pacquiao again. Well, Pacquiao took that punch very good, though. You know, Morales oh, right. has bring never been him, a big up. puncher, Roy. No, nope. yeah. that was a good shot. He just beat you down. He's a willful guy, that's for sure, as he hammers that right hand oh, down the chute goodness, good and goes shot. back to the body with a vicious shot that all the double Pacquiao over. Yeah, that had to hurt real bad. Great left hand by Morales stops Pacquiao in his track. Right hand wobbles him again. Morales senses a chance. Pacquiao oh, comes tough. back. careful about letting your hands go against Pacquiao, but Morales feels strong now. What a, what a brilliant round. Banyan, Banyan, Banyan. Come on, let, 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 let's get the bucket. Put a lot of water on him. Come on. Give me a towel. Vaseline, Bobby. Vaseline. Vaseline. That's a good round. You back this guy up. Now. Where's those body shots for me? Huh? Just relax. Pacquiao landed a good under and over shot here with his left hand. It was a beautiful shot against Morales early in the round. But Morales comes back and comes with the straight right hand that has been working beautifully for him all night.
followed by a left and another straight right hand. Morales is an orchid that grew up in a ghetto. Pacquiao is an orchid that came out of a rice paddy, and they're as tough as weeds. Outstanding Morales, Morales, Morales. There have been moments when it felt like the whole house was panting Pacquiao, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. People are standing on their feet in the bleachers way up in the upper regions of the arena. There isn't an empty seat. House is configured to hold 14,000 plus. It's about as wild a crowd as we've seen since the night we spent in a Tijuana bull ring with Eric Morales against Junior Jones. I think, I think Morales has answered all the questions about whether he would still be fresh, still be strong after a, just four months from that emotional showdown with Barrera. He asked those quickly. In the middle of the week, Morales' Mexican promoter, Fernando Beltran, after listening, oh my goodness, stop the story and cover the action as they trade shots viciously again. At a news conference, Beltran listened to Pacquiao's people talking about how Manny was going to attack Morales and maybe take him out in a round or two. And after about 20 minutes, Beltran had heard enough and stood up and took over the microphone and said, let me tell you something. My man doesn't quit. When Manny Pacquiao got fouled against Agapito Sanchez, he wanted out of the fight. The same thing happened in a draw that Pacquiao got in the Philippines. But Eric Morales won't quit. Not He'll at fight all. through anything. He does uh, till the end. And it's so funny how boxing goes because right now I'm looking at Eric Mor Morales and he's almost in a similar situation that Barrera was in when he fought the Prince. He's using his greater skills and craft to school somebody who was a sensation. And he's coming in as the underdog to do so. It is very similar to what Barrera did with... Of course, this fight isn't as one-sided oh, as no that way. one was. By no means. Pacquiao, let's not give you a moment of inkling that he doesn't have a chance. <laughs> He's got a good chance. He just hurt Morales with a right hand. And he's still in the fight in a major way, and he's not giving up here. He's showing something I don't think we've ever seen from him in the Philippines. Mark Morales with a left hand there. Eric's hands are at his waist or below. Straight right hand for Morales. And a left hook. Hard right hand for Pacquiao. Another great round. Two brave warriors. Sit him down. Sit him down. Sit him down. Yeah, Jackson, sit him down. Don't talk to him. Let him relax. You know what? Nice deep breath, son. Calm down. Deep breath, man. Come on. It's a good round out there, son. Now, here, you got to go to the body and headshots for me, okay? Yeah. Nine rounds, the brother. Nine rounds. But look. Come on, it, with, and the distance without letting up, no forcing, deep breath, come on, let's take a deep breath, throw the one, two, three, and don't let him, the right hand is what you need to do, use the right hand. I want to bring something up here, Jim, it was a dispute over the gloves before this fight. Morales considered the puncher has always used Reyes a puncher's gloves in America. But his promoter allowed to be written into the contract that he would use a different type of glove called winner's gloves, which is not considered a puncher's gloves, the gloves favored by Morales. Nobody can say how that affects this fight, whether that diminishes Pacquiao's power or not, but it's something that has to be pointed out. I just got one question. Why wouldn't Manny Pacquiao want to wear a puncher's glove? He did want to wear the puncher's glove, but his promoter did not talk to him about it before he signed the contract agreeing to use the gloves that Morales wanted.